Hey, it's Anfa, and this is a short rant video, I guess. So I found this petition by Free Software Foundation called Upcycle Windows 7, which is urging Microsoft to open source Windows 7 since it reached its end of life. And initially I thought, yeah, sure, like it's, it's a system that's no longer supported, officially at least, like no more free updates. So it's trash, right? Why not publish the trash so people can learn from it or maybe up upgrade it and make it usable? So I signed the petition and then Luigi Verona shared his mind on that. And I, I gave it some time and I was thinking about it and I'm completely 180 on this subject. This petition is just a troll of activism. It can achieve absolutely nothing good. The only thing it can achieve is make us, the free software people, look like fools. Because we're demanding stupid things and it makes us look like we don't know what business is about or how software works. So there are many, many issues but and many, many reasons why Microsoft would not open source the entire Windows 7 code base, but the, a few that I think are particularly interesting are first, um, cleaning up a code base of an entire OS of all its, of all of its components and, you know, little programs that make it work, all the libraries, etc. Cleaning that up to make sure you have no stuff that could potentially break security of your compromise security of your company or your future products or that it breaks copyright like uh, infringes copyright of people that you have like all the sub license technologies from other companies from third parties like cleaning that up i guess would be like you know thousands of man hours to just do that and that's a huge cost. It's like, who would gonna pay for that? Like Microsoft would just donate thousands of man hours to clean up the code base, to make it ready for publishing and to relight to licensing. Someone answered and said that, well, since the single company owns the code, they can relicense it with just like that. Just say it's now released on a GPL and, and it is. And I'm not sure but I don't think it's that it's simple. But even if that wasn't a problem, then Microsoft has deals for extended um, Windows 7 support. Like I've read that the German government, it has like millions of euros of cotton contracts to support Windows 7 for like, I don't know, another year so they can migrate to a newer system because they didn't do that before. So there's a lot of money to be made on Windows 7 being end of line, end of life, because there are people who still need it to be supported and to be secure, and Microsoft has to dedicate extra resources, so they can also charge extra for that, right? So if they open sourced it, they could potentially lose this stream of revenue, and they probably like already hired people to do this job and prepared and like took the cost to actually support it. So that doesn't make sense either. Now, another thing would be like after NT, like new technology, Windows NT, like all of their systems are based on the same core from what I understand. So even Windows 10 probably shares a lot of code with Windows 7, which means publishing the source code in its entirety would be a huge security risk because black hats could just read the code, find the flaws, and just try if it, they still work in Windows 10. And I'm pretty sure many of them would. So there's a huge bummer that like people might get hacked on using Windows 10 because Windows 7 source code was published. So that's another no-no. So that's at least three reasons why they wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's just silly. I think if we want to do petitions and demand something from Microsoft, we should be more realistic about it and do 
like ask for things that are actually sensible to do and won't just straight out hurt their business because what company is going to do things that just hurt their business no no company is going to do that and if you force them to do that is that even right to do like if forcing them by legislation to open source their own product is that any better than like forcing your monopoly on on the industry like that's not a good thing to do i think like people okay there's vendor lock-in people are locked in the windows they can just switch they can they now will now the governments will have to switch to a newer version of windows sure it's going to be a bit easier than switching to a free operating system but still i don't think you could or you should force anyone to open source their products even if you are like me a fanatic of open source and you use open source whenever you can wherever you can and do everything you can with it so that's my thoughts about that anyway see you later